Here's how you can create a timesheet to calculate hours worked in Excel. You have a list with a column for time in and time out, and you want to calculate the total time worked. You can simply type equals and then reference the time out column. Press a minus and then reference the time in column. You'll notice that this gave an answer in time with an AM. To remove that, press Control-1 and then delete the AM-PM text in this box. Pull the formula down to get the other results. This method gives you time in hours and minutes, but you may want the calculation in hours as a decimal to calculate pay or add time easily. So here's how to do that. First, we'll start with the same formula as before. If we change this number format to a decimal, you'll see that we get 0.1 because Excel stores time as a decimal of a day. So this means that the time worked was 0.1 of a day. To convert this to hours, we can simply put parentheses around the formula and then multiply it by 24. Now you have the same answers as before, but in hours and decimals. Now let's say you have people who work night shifts and their work time crosses midnight. As you can see, we get a negative number with the formula that we had. One workaround is to include the day and time in the same cell. If you don't want to use the date, you can use the mod function to help out. Type equals mod and then use the formula we've been using. Press a comma and then for the divisor, type a one. Add an ending parenthesis and then multiply by 24. The last thing I'll show you is if you want to factor in a break or lunch. Here we have a timesheet with columns for time in, lunch start, lunch end, and time out. You can create a formula a few ways, but we'll take our time out and subtract the time in to get total hours at work. And then we'll subtract from that the difference between the lunch end and lunch start to back out the time spent at lunch. We need to wrap this formula in parentheses and then multiply by 24. Follow for more tips so you can get better with spreadsheets.